who are the top four anglers that were Rookie of the Year that should be on the Mount Rushmore for only the Rookie of the Year category? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and thank you. I know you're here a lot. I really do appreciate everybody. I'm just humbled and amazed and just so thankful for all the people who watch the channel and who subscribe and who are members and who are constantly commenting. I try to reply to everybody and I really do appreciate you guys. I really do. But if you're not a subscriber, you should be. Just click the button and welcome to the team. It's free. Do it. I'm going to do a series of videos all about the Mount Rushmore of a certain topic. I did cheaters to start off with. I'm going to do other ones. But I thought it might be fun to just talk about where certain anglers who've won Rookie of the Year and who those four anglers should be on the Mount Rushmore for just the Rookie of the Year anglers. Now here's the criteria. I guess I could have went to Major League Fishing and went and did that, but that's only been six years. So some of the anglers, it's just hard to do. Bassmaster actually has 19 years of all the angler of the year statistics. And when I went and looked at it, I thought this was the easiest and the best way to do it. I get a lot of criticism that I'm only major league fishing. This is about bass. There's nothing negative about this at all. These are all anglers, or most of the anglers are just fantastic anglers. There's some that are not fishing anymore that probably won't make that four for the Mount Rushmore. But what I want you to do is listen to the stats and then comment below and tell me which four you think should make that Mount Rushmore for rookies, for rookie of the year. It's easy. Now somebody's going to have a different opinion than me. That's perfectly fine. I'll give you my four at the end, so stick to the end, but make sure you comment and tell me who the four you like are, okay? We're going to go from 2024 to 2006, and you pick your top four for that Rushmore of Rookie of the Year. 2024, obviously, was Trey McKinney as one win, $343,000 in career earnings. All of these are career earnings. These are if they made the Bassmaster, if they fished the Opens, but this is going on stats from Bassmaster.com. Key of the year was Joey Cervantes. He has won $370,000 and he has two wins. 2022 is Jay Shakurit. He has $615,000 in winnings and four wins. 2021 is Josh Strachner. He has $149,000 in career earnings and zero wins. 2020 was Austin Felix. He has won $567,000 and one win. 2019 is Drew Cook. He's won $811,000 and one win. 2018 is Josh Whitaker, $445,000 in career winnings and zero wins. 2017 was Dustin Cannell. He has $310,000 and two wins. Next, Drew Benton was in 2016 Rookie of the Year, $1.12 million in two wins. 2015 was Brent Ayler, $514,000, zero wins. 2014 was Jacob Prosnick. He's won over a million dollars and he's had five wins in his career. 2013's Hank Cherry. He's won $1.5 million. He's had four wins, in two, including two classic championships. 2012 is Brandon Card, $930,000 in earnings. 2011 was Ott Defoe. He's had $1.642 million. He's won a classic and had six other wins or six wins total. 2010 was Brand Bradley Roy, 534,000, zero wins. 2009 was Billy, oh my gosh, I'm going to butcher this one. Mc I don't even know how to say Billy's last name, McCarrick or whatever. I don't even think he's in this, the elites anymore. 403,000, one win. 2008 was Bobby Lane Jr. He's won $1.483 million in two wins. 2007 was uh, Derek Remitz. 748,000 in earnings and one win. And then 2006 was Steve Kennedy, and he's won $2.066 million and had three wins. Now, some of these guys are fishing BPT, but I think if you have to look at overall, I think the wins are important. I think money is probably second important. Angler of the Year, if they won that, would be up there too. And then, of course, classic wins. For me, 
even though I know Steve Kennedy's won a lot of has won a lot of money. The four anglers I think that in that group of anglers that should be put on Mount Rushmore of Rookie of the Years is Jay Shakurit with that six hundred and fifteen thousand dollars and four wins. I think Jacob Prosnick should be up there. Five first place finishes over a million dollars. Without question, I think Hank Cherry Jr. should be on that list. He's won a lot of money. Two classics, four wins, $1.54 million in career earnings. And last but not least, one that might be a little controversial because he's not in or with Bassmaster, I think Atafogo's in there too. Atafo has $1.642 million in career earnings on Bassmaster. He has six wins and he's won that classic. I think when you weigh the classic and the Angler of the Year kind of stuff, that has a lot of precedence. And it also shows you the kind of angler that they are. Now, I do realize the Classic is probably the easiest tournament to win because there's just not as many anglers, but making the Classic is tough. Winning it is just unbelievable. So my four is Shakurat, Jacob Prosnick, Hank Cherry Jr., and Atafo. But what are your four? So comment below and tell me your four that should be on that Mount Rushmore for Rookie of the Year only. Okay? So comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I will talk to you very soon. Thank you, cheers, and tight lines.